Hello everyone. Welcome to Honaras Arts and Lifestyle channel. Today is a very special day in Honaras Arts and Lifestyle channel. The reason being today the community for this channel has actually crossed 10000 subscribers. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all for all the love and support that you have given me throughout this journey in achieving this milestone. I'm actually speechless today because so many of you are actually sending me comments and wishes, compliments, supports, guidance and so on and so forth. And not in my wildest dreams had I thought that I will be getting such a vast community that actually spans across various locations in India and various locations around the world. There are various people who are pinging me from Karnataka, Kedarnath, Assam, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Kolkata, Maharashtra, Delhi and so on and so forth within India. And also there are so many people who are sending me their love from US, UK, Australia, Fiji, Singapore, Malaysia, Canada, Mauritius and so on. I really don't know how to thank you all enough because the more and more support and comments you actually give me for my video it actually inspires me to do something more and something special for you all and thank you all very much thank you is a very small word for all the love that you have shown me many of you have been asking me that you know i have done so many videos but i have not introduced myself in any of the video so i just thought uh, this will be the right opportunity to do that my name is uma and i am actually a working professional i am a telecommunication engineer and uh, i'm actually working in a software industry my husband is a mechanical engineer and an mba graduate and even he is working in a software company and we have a son and uh, he is about 5 and a half year old right now and we actually stay in bangalore in hsr layout there isn't anything much to actually introduce about myself i think uh, that is it Many of you have also been asking me about the meaning of onaras and uh, I actually saw very curious messages uh, in in my channel you know where people are actually searching for the meaning of onaras on Google I request you all to not to do it because uh, you know there isn't anything so very mysterious about this name it is just a combination of the native places of mine and my husband's combined together okay my husband's native place is Honapura so we have taken the word honna from honapura and honna actually means gold in kannada and my native place or my father's native place is arasana kunte and we have taken aras from there and aras actually means a king in kannada so uh, you know combining honna and aras together it becomes honaras and if we want to translate this into kannada then it means golden king and i don't think we even took more than 5 minutes to actually select a name for this channel i actually wanted to give some very creative name you know related to art because this channel i actually wanted to show only art uh, more than anything else and uh, you know my husband out of the blue he suggests this particular name and when he actually suggested this we were in his native place that is honapura and because it was my channel i actually wanted to name it with some of the creative ideas that i had in mind but then my husband kept insisting that no i think we should actually name it as honaras and uh, then finally i thought why not you know it's it's a very unique name and uh, that actually glorifies both of our native places so that is why we actually decided that uh, we keep this channel name as honaras there was something very important that i wanted to announce in this video every one of you have actually seen my style of storytelling or narration so in case if you guys have actually liked it then i already have one more channel which i have made only for storytelling for kids okay and the name of the channel is honaras kids so in case if you guys have actually liked my story narration and if you guys have got small kids then i suggest you all to please have a look at my other channel that is honaras kids and support me the same way that you have actually supported honaras arts and lifestyle i started the channel honaras kids because i actually wanted to tell the children about the indian culture which is there today which many of them would not actually learn in their school 
सो इट कुड बी स्टोरीज अबाउट महाभारत अबाउट रामायण और अबाउट इंडियन फेस्टिवल्स और इट कुड बी अबाउट द ग्रेट इंडियन वॉरियर्स दैट वी हैव सीन इन आर हिस्ट्री और इट कुड इवन बी अबाउट विवेकानंदा अबाउट बुद्धा और इट कुड बी अबाउट द लाइफ स्टोरी ऑफ इंडियन आर्मी पीपल एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ आई ऑलरेडी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ वीडियोज अबाउट द स्टोरी ऑफ रामायण विच आई हैव नरेटेड इन इंग्लिश फॉर द चिल्ड्रेन एंड दैट मे बी अ वेरी गुड स्टार्ट फॉर यू ऑल I actually have a lot of plans for Honara's kids like I want to actually release Panchatantra stories on every Monday Chanakya stories on every Wednesday and every Friday I want to talk about Indian mythology and over the weekends we actually want to post some of the activities for the kids and so on and so forth I would also love to release some art videos dedicated only for the children so if you all can actually have a look at my Honara's kids channel and provide the same support then i will do my best to actually make it as entertaining as possible for your kids so let me show you on how to search my other channel that is honaras kids on youtube so in case if you guys want to find out how to go to my channel that is honaras kids then just open the youtube on your mobile so after you open the youtube just click on the search icon over here and type honaras and click on the search button and you will be going straight into my channel that is honara's arts and lifestyle now click on this round button over here okay and that will take you the, to this particular page to see all the videos in my channel you just need to click on this particular video which is there over here okay so just click on the video and you will be able to see all of my videos in my channel over here and to go to honaras kids come towards the right and you will be able to find a place where it says channels over here and when you click on that you can actually see honaras kids right here okay so just click on this and it will take you straight into honaras kids youtube channel and then click on the videos and you will be able to find all the videos in my channel as you can see i had actually started with uh, ramayan story I had done a few episodes in kannada as well and i also have a story about uh, krishna janmashtami and lots and lots of stories about panchatantra i also have some videos about uh, the indian traditional games especially the south indian traditional games such as chauka bara and alaguli mane okay so this is the chauka bara and this is the alguli mane and i also have a few art related videos for the kids i would also request you all to have a look at the videos and let me know in case if you have got any feedback for the improvement of the way in which the videos are done that will be of great help i would also like to take this opportunity to tell you all about what all videos are already there in my youtube channel many of you are new subscribers and hence you wouldn't know what all you can actually find in my channel so just go to my channel that is honara's arts and lifestyle okay and again click on the video here let me start from the beginning so i have a few of the gauri and ganesha festival decorations which was done a few years back so this is another gauri ganesha festival and then i have got ganesha idol making video over here and i also have uh, some easy rangoli designs which you can actually do it as a hobby even children can actually do it because it involves lot of mathematics and uh, geometry and all that and i have got some uh, flower rangoli designs also so this is one of that and then i have got navratri alankaram which i actually did in durga parameshwari temple over here in karnataka okay so i had actually done the decoration two years so this is the first year of the decoration and this is the second year decoration so the second year i had uh, actually kept about 18 durgas so you might want to have a look at this because uh, i believe this is quite beautiful and i also have this very beautiful rangoli design drawing actually even the kids can have a look at this and they can try it themselves because this is very colorful and they will enjoy the process 
then i have got various videos for decoration or alankaram on devi idols so i am starting with durga idol over here and this only talks about the type of sari material which are available in the market and the pros and cons of it which one is good and which one is not and this video actually talks about the jewelry which are available in the market for a devi or a deva idol and this is the video in which i have actually shown how to decorate a mukwada so i have taken a durga mukwada over here and i have shown the decoration but the same thing will also apply for a lakshmi mukwada then i have got something very special for navratri and that is what are the type of uh, sari colors that we can actually drape for a durga idol during navratri and it's the same colors that even we should be wearing during navratri and also what is the daily naivedyam that we can offer during navratri so this particular video is done in kannada but please do bear in mind that every video which is there in my youtube channel is also made in english okay so this is the english version of the same video and uh, this is the kannada version of the video wherein i have actually shown the alankaram for durga ma with various sari types so this one is actually made in kannada and uh, this has got a lot of details about abhishekam for ma durga so it is the same abhishekam process that you can actually use for doing abhishekam for any other god or goddess you just have to eliminate or add a few things according to what the elders say but this is the standard abhishekam that can be followed and uh, this is the navadanya decoration uh, for navaratri this is not the actual ritual which is being followed in the north india in the north india they actually do something called as ghat sthapana wherein they actually take a bowl of uh, soil and they put navadanyas into it that is nine types of pulses and then they worship it this is not something for ghat sthapana this is just for the alankaram okay just for the decoration purpose during navratri or during any other festivals that i have done and this is considered very auspicious growing navadanya in your house is very auspicious then again this particular video about uh, the jewelry which is available is also made in kannada and this is a very special video wherein i have actually shown what are the different types of alankaram which can be made during navratri okay uh so this has got lots of varieties of alankaram like poha alankaram uh then lentils alankaram navadanya alankaram vegetables alankaram fruits alankaram and so on and so forth so it's the same alankaram that can actually be used for any other deva or devi idols also now this particular video is how to do a sari draping using double kalash that is two kalash now the speciality about this particular video and how is it different from all other videos that you are going to find in youtube is that many of the videos they wouldn't show on how to drape the sari around the legs of a devi and also they wouldn't show you on how to fix the hands properly so that you can put heavy jewelry like for example in this particular video i have actually used eight hands for durga okay so these hands are going to be pretty heavy and if you are not going to fix the hands properly with the proper support then all the jewelry and extra jewelry things and all that you are going to put it will not be stable so that is one of the highlights of this particular video now this particular video is all about sari draping to ma durga or any devi idol using a real sari so i have actually taken a real sari and i have cut it to ensure that it is of the size that is suitable for my devi idol and i have done the sari draping and in this particular video i have shown how to do a sari draping using a blouse piece this may not look that good uh, when you actually look at it in the video but if you look at my navaratri decorations for the year 2020 you will really appreciate on how beautiful this particular sari draping will look and there are also certain shortcuts that i have told in this particular video on how to get the sari stitched before uh, the festival starts so that it just takes about 5 minutes to decorate your colors on the festival day and this particular video is about the colors decoration for a daily use so when we actually keep the colors on a daily basis how beautiful and how simple can the colors decoration be is what is shown in this particular video and one of the subscriber had actually asked me on how to tie the neem leaves for durga alankaram so it is this particular video which explains on uh, how to tie the neem leaves 
now again i have got a few of the kannada videos so this particular video is for durga alankaram for navaratri and this one is about durga abhishekam and uh, this one is about uh, the mukwada alankaram all of these things are made in kannada also and uh, when it comes to navaratri decoration for the year 2020 i have actually divided it into three parts because it was quite a lengthy decoration for me so this is the part one of it and this is the part two of the navaratri preparation and this is the video that i definitely want all of you to have a look because it is so very beautiful and i had actually kept nine colors for the nine durgas this time and it has come out really well so request you all to please have a look at this particular video it's quite a short video but very beautiful then some of the subscribers were also asking me on how to write the eyes and lips uh, for an idol okay so that is when uh, one of my friend uh, she had actually purchased this durga idol which is sitting on a lion and i took this opportunity to actually decorate this idol okay that is what this video is all about and this particular video is again about flower rangoli so these videos about uh, gauri ganesh festival making of the ganesh idol and the flower uh, rangoli decorations and all were actually one of the earliest videos which i had done and i was uh, in my husband's native that time i didn't even have a proper mobile to record the videos i didn't even have a mobile tripod and you know there were lots of disturbances there and lot of limitations so the editing and all may not be that good but i think the design has come out really well so please do have a look in case if you are interested about uh, the diwali decorations the rangolis and all that so this particular video uh, talks about cleaning and maintaining the brass idols or the brass and copper items which are there at your house and this particular video is about organizing the festival decoration items so all the items that i had actually used for my navratri decoration so how do i uh, maintain it and organize it is uh, what is shown over here and in this particular video i'm actually giving lots and lots of information about the god photos which can be kept in the puja room and also the photos which i already have in my puja room so this video has got all the details about my shiv parivar photo the dimensions of it the cost of it and where did i purchase and all those things so please do have a look at this video and it's very nice quite informative and this is my puja room tour something which most of you have loved and uh, i think many of you have actually subscribed into my channel only after looking at my puja room tour okay and this is the video wherein i actually show on how to paint rangoli for a puja room and this only talks about the borders for the entire puja room okay so i will also be making a video for all those people who are staying in the rented houses or who just have very small puja rooms or people who are staying abroad who cannot actually paint the rangoli on the floor so for all of them there will be an upcoming video uh, wherein i actually show you on how to make rangoli for such places so that you don't have to disturb any of the current settings and uh, this particular video i had actually made uh, when i crossed the milestone of 1000 subscribers and i wanted to thank all of the uh, subscribers in my channel for the support and love that they had shown me and this particular video actually shows about jewelry making for the idols and uh, this video is something which has become quite popular and in this video i had actually shown on how to make an arch for an idol for diwali but this particular arch can pretty well be used for any other decorations at your home and it's very simple to do it and you can actually keep candles and even if you can improvise it a little you should be able to keep diyas all around this arch and this particular video is about bangle decoration for lakshmi but the same kind of a decoration or a technique can actually be used for any other devi idols so this is the betel leaf decoration for lakshmi which i had done for diwali and this is a shopping vlog for all the crafts and embroidery material there is a very nice shop in bangalore which i recently found out and they give very good customer experience and they are ready to actually ship their items across india and outside india so i just thought you know it will be nice to share it with you all and that is what this video is all about 
and this video is about shivling decoration i had actually done it for kartika masa but the same thing can actually be done for shivratri also so in this i have actually shown how to decorate a shivling using rudrakshi now this is one of the most favorite videos or the most favorite questions which you all keep asking me as to where do i buy the idols for my puja room so all the answers related to idols are actually mentioned in this particular video and this is the video wherein i have actually shown on how to do a sari draping for a devi idol in the gujarati style this was again a request from one of the subscribers uh, to show how to do this and uh, there has been a lot of ideas into it to actually make it as simple as possible for you all and uh, this is a video about kartikai deepam so what are the rituals to be followed for kartikai deepam and what is its significance and so on and so forth so this particular video is about fruit salankaram for shivling so i have used pomegranate and grapes for this one and uh, this particular video is about kalash rituals so many people keep asking me about the kalash rituals there are so many questions as to which god or goddess does the kalash represent is it narayan or is it lakshmi and so on so all the answers related to kalash are actually answered in this video now this particular video is about vastralankaram for shivling so what are the different kind of cloth material which is available in the market which you can actually use to decorate a shivling is what is being shown over here and this particular video on kamakshi deepam rituals i actually made this based on lots and lots of request from you all so this has got all the information related to kamakshi deepam and again this particular video was uh, made based on the request from lot of you on how to clean and maintain the silver items so this video is all about the nitya puja the daily puja routine that happens in my house every day and this particular video is about the flower garland shopping the reason for doing this video is because uh, many of you have been inquiring on where did i buy the cloth flowers that i have used in my puja room and at the entrance of the door i'm also searching for other shops from where you can actually purchase this flower garlands for a reasonable price and a good quality so once i find it i'll be releasing another video on this and uh, this particular video actually introduces you all to all the paintings and the artwork that i have done in my life so far and uh, there were a lot of queries uh, from you all asking me where do i buy the items which are there in my puja room okay so for that to answer all of your queries i have actually made this puja room shopping vlog and it is divided into two parts this is the part 1 of the video and this is the part 2 of the video and the next video is about danur masam or the story of fandal and tiruppavai this particular video is about vaikuntha ekadashi alankaram again this was actually made on a request by one of the subscribers and the latest video which is there in my youtube channel it is about andal or goda devi alankaram again this video was actually made based on the guidance and suggestion given by one of the subscribers of this channel and there will be a lot of other videos which will be following related to andal ranganatha swami tirukalyana that is a marriage of andal devi and ranganatha swami so this completes introduction of all the videos that i have done in my channel so now that you all know what are the different things which are available so please do have a look and uh, browse through all of my videos to see if any of your questions are already answered in my videos I also wanted to apologize uh, to you all that many of you have been requesting me to do a lot of decorations and a lot of videos but there has been a huge delay let me answer the question like why is it that I'm delaying these kind of videos the first and the foremost thing is that I am a working professional and I have a child and the third thing is that it takes a lot of time to do a video which is very informative Let me take the example of my puja room tour something which most of you have loved so much this video actually took me about 4 to 5 hours to record the entire video okay and for editing i have taken about 12 to 14 hours non stop i went into a room and i locked myself and i have sat for the entire day 
without taking a single break okay to do the editing so that is how difficult it is to make a video to you all it might look like i am actually speaking a very fluent language and you know i am too good at speaking but let me tell you what happens behind the screen there will be a lot of panicking situation and there will be a lot of tension because i will be getting conscious when i understand that i am actually addressing to a huge set of people okay and we have to clean all of these things all of the stammering all of the repetitive sentences that i would have said in the editing and not just that i would have also told something which is irrelevant and my video would have become too long okay and people don't like to watch very long videos already my videos are very long so that is why we have to actually tidy up a particular video in editing and editing becomes the most important part so after editing there is something called as video rendering okay what video rendering means is that converting all the pictures the voice overs and the videos together to actually form a single piece of video that is what we call it as rendering so for rendering it actually takes about 2 hours okay and further it takes about 1 and a half an hour to upload it on a youtube so you can imagine to make one video i should have actually worked for 2 days non stop without taking a break and that is why usually there will be a lot of delay and also many of you have been requesting on so many different topics and it actually becomes very difficult for me to switch my mindset because one of the topic that you would have asked would be purely informational there wouldn't be any decorations or anything involved but there will be another request wherein you would be asking me to do a particular decoration so when it comes to decoration i will also have to purchase a few items which are not there with me i may have to customize a certain item like for example uh, the gujarati sari draping video which is there i actually had to order very nice chunri and it took me almost about a week to even search for a good chunri and then i had to get it stitched and uh, i had to purchase some of the patches embroidery patches and all and you know lots of efforts have gone into it so that is why many of my videos will actually be delayed i think few weeks or even a couple of months so i request you all to be very patient with me if possible because it is very difficult for a working professional to actually do these kind of videos now having said all that uh, let me talk about some of the comments that i am actually getting from you all many of you have been requesting me to show certain uh, details about the rituals certain decorations and so on and so forth so uh, when it comes to decorations it will be much easier for me to do a south indian especially especially a karnataka background decoration because that that is the culture in which i have been born and brought up but if you guys are actually requesting me for some of the decorations which i am not aware of then it usually takes a little bit of time for me to understand you know how your decoration is like for example i had actually done a gujarati style of sari draping for ma durga so it took me almost about one week or two weeks to understand what is the kind of sari draping which is being followed in gujarat what is the kind of chunri that you guys use to actually cover the hair okay and which colors can actually be used which style can actually be used and then i have to search for that kind of a material i have to get it stitched and so on and so forth so it actually takes a lot of time uh, to make sure that you know i'm actually meeting your expectations that is why usually there will be a delay but what i also request you all is in case if you have got any such request which actually is slightly different from a karnataka style or from south indian style then you can actually email me on onaris.arts@gmail.com along with the pictures and few of the details like one of the subscriber has actually requested me to show the sari draping in bengali style so the major question that i had for that is what should be the color of sari draping for that should it be red throughout the sari or should it be a combination of a traditional bengali sari like white sari with a red border okay so when i have these kind of questions uh, sometimes it becomes difficult to actually find the answers because when i start searching for the pictures on the internet there will be a combination of both and i don't know which one is right or can i actually choose either of them so that is the reason uh, why i am actually requesting you all if you want me to show you certain decorations and if it is not something that i already know of like you already know my background and everything so you can actually send me some of the correct pictures and traditions which is being followed at your place and in your family 
and you can actually email them to honaris.arts at gmail.com so that I will get a background of what is your expectation and I can do it accordingly. Now coming to the next thing, it actually gives me immense pleasure to share all of your decoration that you have been doing at your home. And in case if you guys are excited and you want me to show some of the decorations that you guys have been doing in your festivals in your home, then please feel free to send me all of those decorations at my email id that is honaris.arts at gmail.com. And also some of you have actually been asking me like, you know, there is a very small puja room and I don't have enough place. So I really want to organize it very well so that it looks beautiful and all. So for such things, I would actually need to visualize uh, your puja room and the place where your puja room is kept. Okay. For that, I suggest you all to please do send me some of the pictures that you already have uh, to my email ID so that I can visualize of the problem that you are facing and then come up with a solution in case if it is possible by me. Now coming to the next request that I keep getting from you all. Uh, many of you have been asking me a lot about certain rituals and you actually want me to brief you all about those rituals. When it comes to rituals, my knowledge is limited. Okay. And I can only talk about those rituals which has actually been followed in my family and what I have learnt and discussed with a couple of priests and saints that I know of. So if a ritual is something new to me and if I don't know about that particular ritual, I may not be able to actually make a video on it because I don't want to actually give any wrong information to you all. Okay, so that is why I may not be able to make video for all of the ritual requests that you guys are asking me and I'm very sorry for that. I would request you all to please forgive me. And also one more thing I wanted to tell you all, like there was a subscriber in US who has actually been asking me on how to do a rangoli design on a clay pot and also she has been requesting me to show on how to make an eco-friendly Ganapati so that when we do a Visarjan, actually plants start sprouting from it. Okay, so for all such special requests, again, I would suggest you all to please leave me an email at honaris.arts at gmail.com so that I keep a track on your request and I don't lose your request and forget it. These days what is happening is I'm getting too many comments and it is becoming difficult for me to track the comments and sometimes I tend to forget, uh, you know, who has actually sent that particular comment and where was it, in which video was it and all. So it will be much easier for me if you could actually drop me an email of your particular request and uh, you know then I can start making a video on it. So having said all this, one of the things or the tradition that I want to follow in my channel is that whenever this channel crosses a particular milestone, I want to make a video dedicating it for the subscribers of the channel and actually share all the pictures and all the decorations that they have been doing at their house. But unfortunately, this video is becoming too lengthy. So that is why I'll be showing all of those pictures in my next video. And uh, please do not forget to watch that video because you're going to get lots and lots of ideas from various parts of India and outside India. So before I conclude this video, I would like to thank you all once again for all the love and support that you have given me so far. Bye-bye.